Today I just want to run you through um, different heights, different tees with different golf clubs. Um, some of this might be obvious to you, but things can get missed along the way. Obviously with the driver, you can see that half the ball is showing above the club head. That's because you're hitting it on the up, and so you can um, you have the ball quite high up off the ground. Then you come to a three wood. A three wood, you know, the average lock between a three wood, strong three wood is between sort of 14, 15, 16, 17 degrees of loft. But it really should be like a good lie on the fairway, um, just about an inch off the ground. Then we come to your rescues and you can see the ball's teed that little bit lower because all of the um, all of the weight is on the bottom of the club face, which is designed to get the ball up in the air. Now, when you come to a long iron, like a four iron or a three iron or whatever that, if you're using those still, give yourself a bit of a chance and tee it up. Um, a little bit higher than most irons. Then you come to your medium iron, and that really is like a good line in the fairway. You must tee, any time, any opportunity you get to tee the ball up, make sure you use a tee. Sandwich, you can even see a sandwich is down, down nice and low, really like a good line in the fairway. Now, the mistake a lot of people make, something like this, medium iron, it's teed up too high, and if you strike it off the top bar of the club, you're not gonna get a result. And it's the same thing as a rescue as well. Once you tee these up too high, they're gonna come off the top bar of the club and they really are not gonna do you any favors at all. So, opposite the left instep, with your driver, if you're a little handy golfer, then that's about an inch inside the instep. And that one's more or less played like a long iron there. And then you're slowly, slowly moving the ball back in your stance until you're playing middle to back of the stance with your wedges. Hope this is a help to you.